Hello and welcome back to that Peter Crouch podcast. Got the notorious SID and uh, Chris Stark here and uh, Mr. David Bentley. How you doing? How are you? Oh, it's good. been a while, hasn't it? Oh, no. <laughs> He's been on the missing list. He's well, been over. You can't see him, Scarlet Pimmer. Now we can't yeah, get away, can you? Yeah. Where is he there? Look at on, him. You're afraid of me turning up today, wouldn't you? <laughs> Just getting from my house to here, it's like an obstacle course, yeah. isn't it? I'm, in, I'm, I'm diving. I got here though. <laughs> Nine beers thinking, down. You were five, five, like five minutes late. I said to Ross, I think it's the only time I've ever said to someone, Ross, uh, could you give him a text? Make <laughs> 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 sure he's definitely coming. No, good to have you, mate. Good to have yeah, you. Blinding. Yeah. Back in the country, right? Back so in the country, been, yeah. Uh, yeah. Been away a bit, haven't you? Yeah. So you're in, well, as soon as you retired from football, you went to Marbella. I did, yeah. yeah. Obviously got the bars and the restaurants down there, mm. rich clubs and so mm. on. And uh, went straight down there just to yeah, enjoy life. Mm. I just had the twins at the time, uh, Dalton and mm. Dylan. Yeah. Right. yeah. Ronnie, and, Ronnie and Reggie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little gangsters. They <laughs> run under them. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Run them! <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. What? I've got. I've got a feeling it's gonna be a lively one. <laughs> yeah. It might be. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's it's more of them. Come on. <laughs> um, all right. Well, look. There's a few things that are going on in the podcast at the moment. Where do you want to start, Crouchy? Yeah. There's a few sort of things that are rumbling through all the episodes. Well, yeah. Moment. I mean, there's a there's a Christmas advert there that um, you know we've we've spoke about and. Uh, that we put obviously there's always irons in the fire. We're trying to make things happen, and behind the scenes, there's, there is lots happening. Uh, so puddings is massive. Christmas ad, it's a rival to big dogs. This is unreal. Could be out there like very soon. Puddings is massive. <laughs> it's got legs. But yeah. how, where do you stand on puddings? You know, after after uh, after a meal, are you what? a dessert man uh, or not? No, I'm not a dessert are you not? man. No. I'll have a Pasharan. You ever had one of them? No. It's an alcoholic drink. It's an alcoholic drink. It's an alcoholic drink. It's a up. Spanish drink. It, right, okay. You only get in Spain and you have that after dinner, but no, it's sweets. Got all continental. No, no, I'm no, just sort of bringing a bit. <laughs> Is that class, like the yeah. little limoncello you <laughs> get after? You know the little lemon, um, limoncello? Yeah, a bit like limoncello. With the, with the, for the Italian. With the, yeah, the Italians. At Arsenal, because right. obviously we were at Arsenal together. Yeah. Do you remember when the crumble used to come out, the, the oh, tray of crumble? That was. And everyone used to scrape the, the top. See, yeah. Everyone used to scrape the top, leave the apple, and yeah, then he yeah. started doing just trays of crumble. So yeah, there we go. Chris, Chris, how are you getting on with uh, with Maidenhead? Is, have you built. I did Paris get to a game. So I, I got to a game recently. Uh, the Ro I went to the Rochdale game because uh, okay. Watford, were, Watford were playing away. Uh, so I thought, right, I'll go down to the Maidenhead game. Maidenhead Rochdale. And I got myself into the corner bar there. I see. You it. know, we've been talking about I this. I can see it now. I visualised it. Steve, I put yeah. it up on Inst Insta, Instagram, yeah. which you might have seen. And um, and sure enough, like I've gone up to that fence. We've talked about this on the podcast before. The little bar in the corner. There's a fence there now because you're not allowed to booze and do it. We've talked about this. But I thought I'll go and just check the size of that fence. Anyway, I went and did it. Called a steward over who's there. I was like, "What is the size?" And he says it's six foot fence. Right. So Pete, if you do come to the game. I think you can legitimately stand in that bar and be able to see above the fence. Yeah, so they put a fence there, right? Because there's a bar and you're not allowed to drink whilst watching the game. You know that rule, right? So, yeah, yeah. so there's a fence there, but it's six foot. So he's talked about getting a periscope and having a beer and watching the game. Yeah. But I think if I go down there, I could potentially watch <laughs> from behind the thing and actually not get thrown out, right? He's got periscope. There's nothing in the rules to say you can't have a periscope in football. Not yet, And obviously, anyway. the, you also, you can be over six foot of football yeah, as well, so... Yeah. Well, that's my legally, question to him, is legally, can he kick you out if you're stood there with a beer Titus. watching the game? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. Sit down. Well, sit down. Yeah, and nice. if anything, what Maidenhead are doing, they're doing a policy of, if you're short like me, you're not allowed to have a bit. That's the only... If you're tall, do what you want, you're fine. sort of thing. All oh, right. There's a couple of things that we've got rumbling on. Have you been in touch with Michael Owen yet about the film reviews? I've got uh, a I'll message about this in a week. No, I haven't. No, I, I, I find it quite difficult to, to go to Michael. I saw him actually the other day. Uh, I was doing the Europa uh, game. Yeah, I saw him the other day. And I looked at him and I, said, I thought, should I ask him if he wants to do film reviews? From <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, they don't need to be long. We're just we'll talking about, 30, you know, sort of 30 seconds. Yeah. Like, I don't think right. Mo's the man for oh, Well, I'll get yeah. on to it. You know what I mean? We can... We can, all, we can, we can always try. ask, can't we? Um, the other thing I've got to apologise to you for, Crouchy, was I got you... Um, you know where they released the VAR audio? I sent you that, didn't I? I sent... Uh, but I obviously attached the loud porno noises, you know. Oh, uh, I forgot. forgot. I loved I got, him. No, I got done. <laughs> this is a... Mate, I got done, I got done with it, didn't I? Where? Oh, fuck. 
So he, I, I've, I've said the audio. I was like, here's the VAR. No, the audio. audio. Yeah. Right. So obviously, he go. It was well before the audio actually came out, and I thought, oh my god, Chris has got hold of it. Yeah. So I'm in the cafe, oh. and I'm not joking. There's a, 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 a girl and a, and a boy behind the counter, and one you. old lady. Oh no. And he's gone, I've gone, oh, so I've, I've gone like that, I've turned it right up, he said obviously you have to turn it right up to hear it, I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> let, me show you. let me show you, it was a good one. Oh, that is a good one. They're oh. classics, isn't they? They get yeah. you, don't they? Such You're a like, blow. Oh. Such a blow. And they're so embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. And then it was one of those where I looked at them and they didn't look at me. Yeah. So like, I wanted them to look at me, so I go, I've been oh, done, I've been yeah. done. They didn't. And then it went past the go. fact that I, so I just didn't say anything and then I just went out. <laughs> And that's the worst bit, that it's not making horrible. eye contact where you so, can yeah. go... That's what I mean, I'd rather so go I actually like, think oh, you're right. Yeah. Because like, I've done with that before and I've said, yeah. look, I've been done. And to be fair to the girls in the spa once, it was like, a, it was the gym. Yes. And uh, and I said, I've been done. And she said, to be fair to her, she went, we all have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went, fair play, fair play. I wanted, one, I wanted that one again, but yeah. I didn't get anything. Yeah. And it was so awkward. Oh. Oh. Right, do you remember when we first, how we first met? I, I, I don't really know. What? Crete. Ah, oh, I don't remember Crete, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that you our know, first that was, foray? That was our first. <laughs> so I'm, I've gone there. So it's the Lundi Mar Hotels. Lundi, yeah. They're like Crete. hotels, but they've got <clears throat> nice like place. little, yeah, lovely, Ooh. built into the rock and they've got their own little swimming pools. So you overlook the sea. So I'm there and I'm going, oh, you know, like Kim, Ooh. my wife, um, I'm going there just to have a relaxed time, you know, I don't want to get involved. I'm going there just to chill because I want to get ready. Off season. Yeah, I want to get ready now for, yeah. the, for, the, yeah, off for season. the season coming up. So I'm sat there and I've come up like that and I've looked out at the sort of scene. They've got the rock formation. I said, Kim, look at the size of that geyser. <laughs> look at the size of this geyser. <laughs> what was I swimming or something? What? He's just there. So... I can't remember whether it was your feet or whether you did have flippers on. <laughs> but he, he's, he's, he's got a goggles and a snorkel. Oh, and well, I'm having a full snorkel. Yes, so me and Kim are watching. Uh, I'd pay to he, see that. Like, like, he's a like the Loch Ness Monster yeah, or something. And he's just dived in. So we it's, had, it's, we, it's, <laughs> it's just <laughs> dived in. <laughs> so we're I'm just, a human being. <laughs> Oh, no, bless you. I love you, don't I? But I, so, so I'm watching you just have yeah. a nice time and I'm going, look at him. <laughs> and then all of you know, and you go, it's Cratch. <laughs> it's Peter Cratch. <laughs> and I don't know how this happened, but we ended up. Yeah, I remember this bit. It's St. Nicholas. I think there's a little... Ta ta we, we end up either meeting there yeah, or meeting. Like a bar, anyway, like a bar. We end up with a few beers. Eight o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's a long one. It's a long oh, one. Dance on bows. Oh. Like she, I, I broke her back, so she broke her coccyx. That's what happens when you come out. <laughs> <and make laughs> <you say that. laughs> you, you mean on, on the night out? Back, well, just, I, re I realised very quickly <laughs> what, what it was about. <laughs> No, but hang on, she broke her back, but you still no, stayed out. So, no, well, no, I think it was near the end, really, yeah. that bit. But, like, what happened was, we were in this, we ended up in this club, and me and him were dancing on the bar, yeah. like, above. Uh, and lots of people danced on the bar, it wasn't just me and him. Yeah. But then we were dancing on the bar, and then all Abs, like, laughing at us, da dancing, and kind of went back and fell backwards, but on and, and hit her kind of coccyx on the step. Yeah. And then she was going, oh, I drew it out on my back, my back. And I said, oh, look, I better, obviously, yeah. I better take her home, whatever. And then she... She was going on about the back, and I was going, "Are you sure? Like you might have done yeah. something, whatever." We got the doctor out, and uh, yeah, like the next day, it was she was in pain. Like she had to rub all this like kind of um, Voltarol kind of gel into her back and things like that. And then uh, oh, that's a blow. Isn't and then the next yeah. day, yeah, it was a blow, that's yeah. a blow for the rest of the holiday, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> Come on, Ebs, <laughs> your, your back's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Take two vulgar. I'm not gonna lie, I did say that. I did, I, there's a couple of times I did that. It was mentioned. I'm like, whinging, will you? I got to say, comes to this lovely place. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So X-rayed it, and she's yeah, she had a kite and a yeah. slight, slight fracture in the, the coccyx, yeah, yeah, which was not not ideal. But that's a that's a night out. Yeah. Yeah. Was a great night. It was a good. We night. had a good time though. Didn't we? It was a, it was, really that was the off. first time. Yeah, really, it was the first time. Yeah, haven't looked back since. Obviously, crouching. Yeah, they are good fun. Like, mm. Yeah, they're great. Time, we had a great. Yeah. We had a good time. You used to use your arse together, right? We were. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were. Yeah, we were. You were year below. You were year below. You was year below me. And let me tell you now. 
Right, obviously he's not changed. No. Right? <laughs> he's lively. Yeah, yeah. No, but great character. One of the ones where you can hear him down the corridor. Uh, but I will say now, in the whole building, I'm talking first team as well, at 16, probably one of the most, along with Nobes, David Noble, technically gifted in that, in that whole building. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I remember him. Yeah, yeah. Player. I saw him yeah. recently. He's, I'm sure he's still at St Albans. He was oh, still, he? like, like two years ago, he was still playing. Yeah, he was still playing. Yeah. Then he went into management. He was coaching management. Yeah, right. Yeah, he was technically. He was unbelievable. Yeah, he was yeah. a year older than you as well. Yeah, wasn't he? yeah. So, so how old were you at this point? This was about 15, well, 16. We started at fifteen. Yeah, mm. I sort of come out because got late birthday. Come out. I think we started in July. Left school straight in. Fifteen. Oh, eight yeah. four bus. That was it. Two four two bus and the eight four bus from Potter's Bar, and then have me. Pancakes at syrup at the roundabout. Yeah. That's what yeah. <laughs> <laughs> in McDonald's and then walk over to training. Yeah, no. And did you feel that you were the way that Steve is describing you there? Did you feel that you were you had this particular gift? There was a particular um, talent there. Yeah, on the technical side, that was sort of my game, and that's what sort of focused on. That's what comes sort of naturally to me. Um, but yeah, no, I was just. I never really thought about it. I probably should have thought about it a little bit more. <laughs> but I sort of just turned up. I, I do live my life like that, and that's why it's so complex. But when you were doing that and you were having the pancakes and syrup, this is is this by London Colney? Is that that McDonald's? That McDonald's yeah. by yeah. London Colney. Oh, yeah. I always oh, pass that, and I wonder, because that's really close to the Watford training ground. It's really close yeah. to the Arsenal Ooh. one, obviously. How many times have players, like, it's a very significant McDonald's that, really, yeah. isn't it? It's iconic. Well, yeah, back yeah. in the day, is that and the target yeah, yeah. roundabout? I remember we were training with England as well. We get on that bus, yeah, and you're just yeah, going to yeah. go, I think, oh, I could do it with a Mackie yeah. now. Yeah. That's where I got the delivery <laughs> from. Jimmy uh, took uh, it. <laughs> shit, yeah. Well, with England. Because yeah, you need a grove, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Got me mates turn up and bring all the. Bring the McDonald's. In. Yeah, it was that under Capello. I mean, yeah, that was Capello. Yeah, because obviously you know, there's banning and ketchup. There's everything's dry. You know, you yeah. couldn't, right, it was very bland. And after games, sometimes you just want like a burger or something. Yeah. yeah. So you got he's got. Well, so you were mate. running. You were running the McDonald's. I was hustle. running the yeah. The McDonald's, hustle. I carried the McDonald's dream all the way from Arsenal all the way to the top. <laughs> 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 Branding, just like your puddings. I'm in the McDonald's. <laughs> Ronald. Yeah, that's it. Oh, but yeah, no, it, it was. Yeah, I don't know. I've lost my train yeah, of thought. Yeah. But, no, yeah. but you were you were supplying. Yeah. You were dealing I don't McDonald's think you get to the team. Yeah, I was, Capello was there. It was, was like dealer, prohibition, yeah, wasn't McDonald's. it? Yeah. yeah. It was it, Capello had sort of banned all this stuff, but you, by the sounds of it, were running your own sort of game yeah. with the McDonald's for the players. Yeah. Inflated prices? It or was, was it? inflated, it was. Yeah, it was. But you got to earn a living. Yeah, it was two and a half grand for a burger. <laughs> <laughs> so, to, but, just yeah. describe them get, get, getting the McDonald's into the Grove Hotel. It's a covert cause... operation, wasn't it? Because we had bouncers on the door, mm. didn't we? That's hey, not saying, how do you, nah, you get anything yeah, in there? Well, it's like the nightclubs, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> not allowed in, so. <laughs> Nip around the back. <laughs> so, how do you smuggle nuggets past Capello? How do you snuggle nuggets past Capello? Well, where the Grove is, it's a. Yeah, we're going into detail. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Um, where the Grove is, you've got the sort of car park that runs alongside all the bedrooms, isn't you? Mm -hmm. And then, but the entrances were guarded by, mm. but the windows, it could get anyone in through the windows. Yeah, or anything. So. <laughs> anyone <laughs> really <did. laughs> no, I think we've quickly established that Benz is a maverick. Mm. Did we talk about Mavericks on previous? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. This, the, this is Maverick in the making. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly right. And, uh, yeah, he said, I think, you know, I think it might have been you who said it, like towards the end of your career, you know, you kind of a little bit, little bit disillusioned with football and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, the characters have kind of gone out of football, obviously. I mean, you can tell yeah. now that Benz is, is one of those. But but do you still feel that? You still feel like uh, gone out I a bit? Like... Yeah, I think they're there because you've got personalities. You mm. know, like, I, I was lucky because when we were coming through at Arsenal and then I went to Norwich, mm -hmm. uh, What's he, yeah, uh, Mackett, what's his yeah. name? Irish, Irish, but he's now at the Vatican training to be, he could be Pope. Have you not heard of this? Oh, yes, so, uh, Phil, Phil Moran. Phil Moran. Yeah, yeah, I played I'm going Macca, Macca, yeah. Phil, Phil Moran. Phil Moran, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, um, uh, yeah, he's, um, he's like a priest. Yeah, but he had a red Ferrari for Pope. He had a red Ferrari, he was, he was just, he loved the bows and then, he was a great player. He was a good player. Yeah, Come from United. Man United as a kid. Yeah, that's right. And uh, kid, yeah. but he could be the Pope. Yeah, he's know, gone really into that. Even Gavin Peacock. Well, would you throw your hat in the ring? Uh, go for Pope? At some you never point? know. You never know. <laughs> it's yeah, such a, it's, but it's that's a very odd route, isn't it? To go from footballer. So w were you playing with him at Arsenal? I was, Norwich, but he, really? he was uh, oh, Norwich. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, so just on that on line. Maverick or personality-wise, and is it gone out of the game? You just you, yeah, you do get 
people like that. They are. Mm. They, they're not. They don't follow the sort of straight and norm yeah. and do the same. You know, just. Uh, but he does that. But yeah, I was lucky. At Arsenal, like all the boys that we were, were all like that. Yeah. Like I said, he was like that. Great. <coughs> yeah. I, I see Stacky now. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Say no more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, uh, and Nobes and everyone. Yeah, yeah. All good lads. Yeah, we, yeah. I mean, Stacky come, yeah, we done a five aside with him and no, I played right. with him, you know, we've, we've seen great, him a bit. He's, he's funny. He's great. And, uh, and being at, being at Norwich and then went to Blackburn and you have Robbie Savage and, and, and all yeah. these, uh, Dominic Matteo, yeah. David Thompson, all these old school, uh, Michael Gray, you know, they, mm. I, I had a good group and then, would I go for yeah? Obviously, come to Tottenham. Yeah. Yeah, Edward Gate, you, mm-hmm. you, you, all you boys. Like, we're, yeah, yeah. we had a good group there, didn't we? Very but, good. But it's sort of alongside the dynamics of football, dynamics of society, it changed. Mm. And being the way, being like that wasn't mm. really viewed or accepted. Probably. Yeah. Never. When we come for Arsenal, yeah. Wenger literally just came in as well, and that's yeah. when he sort of changed the whole scene of nutrition and stretching yeah. and yoga, and you know, took it to the, another level. Do you look back at it there because obviously you bypassed like he by- bypassed us into the first team straight away, and do you think it was that your personality or him looking at you? You you turn up fit every time. You were yeah. technically gifted, but with Arsenal it was a bit more yet to have the whole package. Yeah, sort of that professionalism. Yeah. Not, not that he didn't have it, but oh, you love the laugh and a joke, and as other people did. But do you know I mean, he, he was probably a bit too strict, maybe. Yeah, mate. I, it was to be fair. To be fair to him, and I've spoke to him since. Mm. Um, I forced through it to leave because it was around the invincible time, and I had players like yourself that were good enough, and Nobs and Boothroy, yeah. you know, was, uh, the Irish Barrett, yeah. was it? Yeah. You know, good players. Mm. And I was looking up, going, like, they ain't, they ain't getting a chance. And it's hard, it was hard at the time because yeah. Invincible never lost a game. Mm. And I was part, I am the pointless question. Did you know that? No? Yeah. Got it. What's the question? Name members of the Invincible squad. And I was the point. <laughs> <laughs> I was the point. Of- <laughs> What's a claim of fame? <laughs> I'll get that on set. You know when people see your videos and what's that? They are pointless. Well, uh, <laughs> it's sort of like a part of the Invincibles, but you're pointless. Wow. You're like- <laughs> but I played that year. Didn't yeah, I? but you're on. That. Yeah, you're in yeah, the group. Yeah, I was on the bus out. celebrating and everything. Yeah, <laughs> forgotten. Superb. So they <laughs> asked a hundred people on that or whatever they're saying. Oh, he's going to make it one. worse now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying because it's yeah. normally one at least, wasn't it? Yeah, I but think it's... I was. I was part of the point. Yeah, there was me. Ooh. But at least you're on the list. Yeah, at least I was on yeah, the yeah. list. But yeah, who else was pointless? Just yeah. out of interest. I can't remember. Yeah, All yeah. I did was home in on my night. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's funny though. Oh, but yeah, super. but with yeah. Arsenal, so I, I signed a five-year deal and left after a year. But I was and you forced that through. But I was yeah. forcing it yeah. through. Gansim was like, "I'm not going to." You want to play it through? And did, did, didn't you go on loan? Sense. First? They did. They they covered themselves. Yeah. So when yeah. I Tottenham, Arsenal got half. Yeah. 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 It was half, was it? Half. half. So yeah, like it's big I oh, know. <laughs> oh, half. Oh, don't bring that up. Right, hey. <laughs> Sorry, no. mate. I was on the list. I was on the list was not to bring no, up. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, oh. yeah. So you're out on loan. So you went on loan. So where was I went first? to Norwich. Norwich. So that was Nigel Worthington. Yeah, that so was. So we went on loan. You went on loan there. Yeah, I went on loan yeah. for a year. I went on loan to Norwich as well. On Nigel uh, Worthington. What's What's this oh, story no. about? Uh, training Were, weren't you training wasn't he involved oh. in training like yeah, he was literally he used to, playing he used to like two foot me in training but then he'd he smash was left you back, about wasn't he? Yeah. and I used to be a bit chirpy we? <laughs> <laughs> and I loved it though were well, you up, giving yeah. him a bit yeah. like, like oh, you going past yeah. him and... <laughs> oh my god to the manager, to the manager. <laughs> so then he'd he'd like he'd go through he'd you he'd do me yeah, yeah. I'll just get, but it was good. It was yeah. good. Like, I loved all that. It was good. Mm. I, I really enjoyed going to training more than the game because I know I'd be up against a gaffer. <laughs> <laughs> I'd come in, gaffer, come on. You know, like, as you walk he's in his office, so he must have all been in there having like a sensible meeting. They just hear me going, gaffer, no, no. <laughs> Round two. <laughs> but, it, was, it was exactly like that. But, um, there was one incident in training where. And it was my first sort of welcoming, uh, sort of getting criticised by the press. It was, you know, when the press turn up on a Friday morning mm. and they're allowed to watch training for a bit yeah. and then they move on. So they all turned up and uh, you do that circle game, didn't you? You know, mm. yeah, yeah. every club does a yeah. circle yeah. or like two men in and mm. 
Well, he he used to join in, but every time he got the ball, he just whacked it at me, like up here in there, like getting, you know, like mm. he's on me. Mm. So, so I've got the ump, and you know where the ball, everything's together. Like someone will bring out all the balls. So I just got everyone. I have that. Like kicked everything and stormed in. But then the press all see it and have it. So they had me on the back of the paper as Peter Kay. You remember? It? Oh, have, have it. Have it. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was. Yeah, that was my first. Yeah. I didn't instigate it. He just, I don't know whether he wanted to sort of get stuck into me because he thought, mm. like, he needed it. Get him yeah. at it. Like, so, but uh, yeah, no, it's experiences like that. It's a yeah. funny relationship you seem to have with him where yeah. you were almost, he, he wanted to be competitive with you. Yeah. But Maybe in a playing if, sense, not just a managing yeah. sense. Yeah, the, yeah. It's weird that. It was, yeah. But is, it, is that something like, obviously, the character you are, like, we love in the dressing room mm. as players and stuff like that. But do you think that, do you think that might have held you back? Like with regards to playing for England, to playing for, for Arsenal, yeah. do you do you think that was detrimental? Well, to perceptions you from from yeah. people's perception of the press or the or the manager yeah. thinking you're just dicking around. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Instigating something yourself, or like I said, turn up to training, not being yeah. not applying yourself, or being ready. Or yeah, you think that was the perception, maybe? Yeah, the that, perception. Yeah. yeah, the perception yeah. was. I didn't help that. Yeah, and I don't think my personality <coughs> can do that. Mm. It's just the perception. They yeah. don't know that I've mm. been in. You don't know. I've actually <coughs> been in meetings before yeah about what you know yeah. spreadsheets and all this mm. like like boring yeah. stuff yeah. but turn up here i'm like oh, hey. <laughs> but yeah. yeah you do perform and it is I, yeah. I say it's a certain protection as well or personality mm. thing we've all got it we all act different mm. and i think the way you are with your children the way you are mm. with your parents the way you are with your girlfriend mm. or the way you are with your friends the way you are mm. at work you kind of yeah. multiple people anyway mm. i mean i've got multiple personalities i have to deal with anyway <laughs> what <laughs> But <laughs> it's like that film, isn't it? What was that? <laughs> but, <laughs> Me, that, myself. Yeah, yeah. No, there's one There's a mental one. Split, yeah, split. I'm watching that game. I'll get you, mate. Uh, uh, <laughs> Crawling up the wall. Uh, like, yeah. What's this? Jim Carrey, is it? Is it Hank? Yeah. He turns into Hank. Yeah, oh, the, mate, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, myself, myself and I. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> but... But has it helped me back? Yeah, I potentially. Yeah. yeah, potentially. And what? And you? Is there? Is there regrets or not? Do you have regrets about no, parts no. of it, or would, you wouldn't change it? Wouldn't change anything. Really? No, I had a great time. I mean, as it tailed off, I got injured. Mm. Like I did my day. I did um, condyle defect. You know where you mm. bone and bone. Yeah. When I, I did it when I was went on loan to West Ham. Um, me and Harry didn't mm. just didn't seem. Yeah. Now there was a couple of instances which is proper. He's probably right. You know, some couple of things I did that were wrong. Mm. You know, with, I had an incident in the mm. car and mm. sort of drinking and stuff, but which weren't, which he was right. Mm. But then sort of just never really sort of, yeah, recovered from that. Mm. But I don't really have any regrets. No, none at all. Mm. And when it got to that point, I mean, I retired at 28. It's 11 years ago. Yeah, that's what I mean. I mean, like um, you, 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 obviously with that with retiring so young, was that was that down to injury? Or was that just because you kind of became kind of disillusioned with the game? Yeah, it was a combination of yeah. just, I was getting offers to play, but I just thought, I don't want to go through the motions. I just had my twins and um, I don't know, just, that's me. I just mm. thought, I ain't going to do that. What were your highlights? So I remember obviously like, you, that little chip at Arsenal was, yeah. was a delight, right? That and was, that the was, that was iconic, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, and the old Highbury, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah right, yeah. Uh, which Dennis, was amazing. Dennis Burkham is, was, and, that, and that's what I thought. Yeah, you know, it was one of those where people were going, "He's the English Burkham." Like, yeah, that's that, they, honestly, yeah. that was genuinely. That was a tag. Yeah, that was a tag. tag. Yeah. yeah, and they were going, "Oh my god!" It's like you, like you said, he's was naturally gifted footballer, mm. kind of around the place, and you know, you score a goal like that as a how old were um, you then? Eighteen, eighteen years old, and he's chipping people at Highbury, you know, in the invincible. Get on that. Yeah. Did that? Would that make you kind of like obviously with full of confidence? I. There's a big story behind this because mm. we used to try. Did you ever train in the, the indoor AstroTurf? Would you? Did yeah. You, in the clock in? Yeah. 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 JVC. Yeah. JVC. Yeah, 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 yeah. JVC. Yeah. That's it. Come on. <laughs> we, we're showing our age now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? JVC. Used... That's John Luke. <laughs> <laughs> when I first when I first went in there, I uh, oh mate, I, I was having it because I've still got the shirt. Man United. My dad bought me a Man United shirt, and I wanted to be Cantona when I was growing up. So Liam got me in to train at Arsenal at 12. And I said, I'm only training if I can train in a Man United shirt. So I, oh, I, I <laughs> chose the first thing. No I, way. He let me. No he, way. I swear. No. I swear. You're training at Arsenal in the, uh, the yeah. uh, hybrid. In the United. In the I've got the picture. Shall I forget yeah, it? Yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, I've got to fit my, give it my boy. Should I get wow. it or is it delaying it all? No, yeah, it's good. It's a little break. Yeah, yeah. I've got a few pictures of you. Right? <laughs> oh, That's why I've got <laughs> yeah, to go. Yeah, time, time. <laughs> oh, Cratchy, look at this one. My. <laughs> We've got to move on quickly. We've got loads to get through it. <laughs> oh, where is it? There's a great, the pick of me and Woody. My boy. Come out. My boy, that's that's the shirt I used to wear. Uh, my, my, that's my little boy no now. No way. So you wore that, you wore that, that shirt, shirt. I, at I, Arsenal? At Arsenal. So how did that go down? So hold on a minute. You said you... you that's Liam Brady. Oh, Liam Brady. Brady. Yeah, and I said, I'm not, I, I won't come, uh, I want to go to Man United. I ain't coming here. And he went, no, you can come. And I said, well, I'm only wearing a Man United shirt. If I can <laughs> train. I was 12. What, 11, 12? It was unbe- wow. yeah, so weird. you must have had something then, then? Like to, to have balls on you like that? To, yeah. To Liam Brady? It's, it's a bit... Yeah, I know. I th- it seemed like a great idea. Didn't yeah. it? <laughs> sort of. yeah. But yeah, no, so I was training. Sorry, I was training. So we go in there. That's the story about wearing that. Then going into full time of Arsenal, going through the system. So on, And then I was getting labelled because I used to, under, I, I wasn't a winger. Mm. I wasn't. I didn't play on a winger mm. until I turned a pro. I used to be in the, yeah. the fake, t- what's yeah. it, what do yeah, call yeah, it? Number 10. Hole, like, yeah, like hole. Um, so now I was getting next Burkamp sort of role so I was just trying to do things like him and then to get the opportunity to score in the clock end where we used to train all that story mm. chip chip the keeper like Dennis was renowned for doing and then the the clock and you said we got uh, Dennis Burkham they started mm. singing we got David Bentley and then obviously the stars in the team as well that were that were, were proper stars but so I've gone in after the game and at the time this is just I'm just like yeah you've got to go I kind of get ready got changed quick just so I could get on, get the train back. So I was going, I don't know what I was doing, I was going to do something. So I've got one in big, you remember the big Arsenal Wenger mm, coach? Yeah, like, yeah. And Walkman on. And I've, I'm walking with the crowd because I got out so quick. And I've got on the train. And I've, I've gone like that. Everyone's talking about me on the train. They don't know that I'm there. there on the train. I'm there just listening to the whole train from Finsley Park to Potter's Bar uh, talking about me, yeah. And, uh, that was one of the best experiences. Really? Wow. When, I, when you're really? saying highlights, yeah. yeah, that was the most gives me goosebumps now yeah. because the whole experience of it and not not knowing. Like Mad, he's saying it. that story now and like getting excited, but at the time was just nonchalantly getting on the train after yeah. and just thinking it was just yeah, that's, that's what we done day in day out. Yeah. That was just normal. Nothing to changes, does yeah, it? No. <laughs> <laughs> but it does. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, because obviously it gets to a stage you know if you continue doing it, you you can't get on the no, train. No, yeah, exactly. But that first day you've yeah. been able to do it. Wow. Um, it. But where does it go from there? When you score that goal, and obviously like you say, the papers, you know, the new Dennis Burke camp. Like, where did your life go from, it just from that moment? From yeah, that and what, and yeah. All of a sudden, it's. Everyone started recognising, yeah, recognising yeah. me, and it was different. Yeah, it did change. Now, how was your football from then? Yeah, it was good. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you didn't. Yeah. Did you? How much did you play after that? Like Ars- for Arsenal? Uh, not much. That was the Invincible. It was the year before the Invincible. Yeah. Mm. So it was very difficult. To play. I still played, still in and around the squad and doing mm. more, but they. They weren't losing. Yeah, that? they weren't losing. No, so you, no. you didn't get the opportunity. It's hard for any manager, isn't it? You, know, yeah. like, you, you, you played your best football at Blackburn. Mm. Yeah. 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 And was a main reason going there was was that Eddie Ned? Because Eddie yeah, Ned, Eddie we Ned. obviously we've had Eddie Ned mm. at Stoke and oh, yeah. we had him at Arsenal. So mm-hmm. he was the one that drew you up there. Yeah, because played under Mark Hughes. Yeah. So he was reserve team manager at Arsenal. Yeah. So he had me during that period. So mm. and then was allowing he was a good guy wasn't great he? coach yeah, really nice great guy. coach I, was, I love working yeah, with him he was brilliant, brilliant, really enthusiastic good. Yeah. one of the good guys in football mm. yeah, yeah, he is, definitely. yeah he was yeah and then was that a club that when just, you went to you just felt at home straight away at Blackburn or did you have to just grind yourself into the team or work your way or did you just go from the first game this is me I found it difficult adapting to playing on the wing I had a look at who plays in that position mm. and who because I think I wasn't blessed with pace I wasn't you know Sort of technical, who does this role? And it was, it was your man Beckham, wasn't it? He was like, he's doing yeah. it the best. So, what does he do? So, watch a few games, see what he does, where he tucks in, and where he, you know, does he drift or he doesn't hold your position, get up and down, cover your fullback, get your, mm. get off your yard, get your ball in, and then make sure you're on set plays. And that's what I did. I perfected set plays. <laughs> Getting half a yard and whipping it in. Yeah. But you, but you did. The, f- found the role. Yeah. But you did perfect it, right? And, and, yeah. and that's yeah. why, obviously, there was yeah. a huge kind of clamour. It was like you were Bex's replacement. Yeah. It was like yeah. there was a compa- you're wearing a number seven, you're playing on the right. Yeah. You're not blessed with massive pace, but you've got a wand yeah. of a right foot. Yeah. There's so, only one Beck, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, but you've got yeah, to tell the story. You've got <laughs> to tell the story of the England <laughs> training session. Go on. Which well, one? When Which? you're out wide. You're basically, you're basically like. 
they sent they sent like three three or four players out to cross to cross yeah. the ball on the right hand side. So Beck is out there, Bent has gone out there. I think Ashley Young is out there, but it's too many. So he's going. No, one of you need to come on. Like, okay. come, like there's yeah. too many out there. Kind of four wingers out there crossing from the right, and he's gone. I'm the best crosser out here, Bar Bex. <laughs> he said, you need to send some of these others like, to go back. So I think Ashley Young yeah. was sent back to go and join like, yeah, the rest of the group. Yeah, and, like, got the ball out. and I went wallop like that. I went, yeah, I told you, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was funny. For, but the thing is with Capello, it wasn't to disrespect him and all these funny stories. It was full respect for him. But he, he come in, didn't he? He didn't speak the language oh. and never really learned it. Mm. We're under... Yeah, you know, I'll say together, yeah. 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 And then... Um, he was banning ketchup. We had to sit at a table and we could only start eating dinner when the captain mm. came. It was yeah. all a little... Yeah. For me, I was a young lad. Like, so mm. I was younger, so I didn't really... But more of the, the more established players mm. were... Um, it's always weird to try and perfect that, but I do think they over sort of think it sometimes, mm. isn't it? Because mm. I, I remember previous to that, so it was Capello and then McLaren was in, mm. wasn't he? Which... <laughs> He had a guy called Bill Beswick. Yeah, Bill, yeah. yeah. And I remember being <laughs> round a table like this, and he did like a, <laughs> you know, what, he did some weird like a list of whatever they call it. I don't know, like spiritual thing. And I'm sat there, and I'm thinking, right, this is fine with me. But I've looked left, and it's Michael Owen. I've looked right, Stephen Gerrard, and we're having a meeting, and he's telling them how to visualise score. You know? And I'm just thinking. <laughs> 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 Like, mate, you got this all wrong. We ain't gonna win no World Cup. <laughs> He's gonna end up sat on the beach like that. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? But with Capello as well, to be in and around it, he come in with all these uh, ideas, and I don't think the English we're English, and, and we are we are mm. what we are, and we like our ways and mm. certain disciplines yeah. and a laugh at the time. But so he, I think he come in and. Did things that most people didn't buy into, you know what I mean? That's yeah. the, no, I'd agree with yeah, that. Yeah, it, it, it didn't work, did it? I think they they went from kind of Sven McLaren it being quite relaxed, yeah, to, because that didn't work, they went the complete opposite, yeah. And then, you've and that's what I mean in relation quite, to that yeah. McLaren trying too much, you're overthinking this, you, you, mm. you're, stim you're trying to overstimulate the players, don't need to do that, you need to just. Yeah. So yeah. around this time then, so with Blackburn, mm -hmm. this is where there was talk about you potentially joining Man United mm -hmm. as well. What was the extent of those discussions? Where did it ever get to? Uh, with leaving Blackburn. It's probably yeah. actually, when you ask me about regret, probably forcing my, forcing my way out of Blackburn. Because I did, and I probably didn't handle it the right way. Mark Hughes left. Um, he did tell me he was sort of going to move me inside and play... Um, we went to Trinidad and Tobago with England. I don't know if you're on yeah, that I'll trip. Yeah, I played out there, yeah. Yeah. So we went out there mm. and on the plane, I'd already had a meeting with him before the season had stopped. He said, next year we're going to build a team, we're going to get this plate, you know, as you do. And he said, we're going to move you inside and give you more of a sort of free role. I was like, yeah, really happy with that. You're done when you're leaving. Mm. Okay, I agreed to that because there was a few teams that was sort of sniffing around. And then when I was on the plane on the way back from Trinidad and Tobago, I'd gone to Man City. And I took it, but I got the, I got the arm. And um, and then Paul Lynn's come in with Carl Robinson under him mm. and they were trying to rather this and I shouldn't have sort of forcing it through a little bit, you know, telling the chairman that I need to leave. But it was it was off the back of a conversation that I had with uh, actually Capello and his assistant, Bal Baldini, Baldini, was it? Yeah. He said, you got to you've got to leave because you won't play. You won't play for England. So they said you got to play at a higher level, yeah. Wow. So you really won't like... play for England if you were to stay at Blackburn. No, that's what he was saying. Pretty much, yeah. That's uh, what told me, yeah. And yeah, what? And where where did you go then? So did you did were Man United was Man United on the cards? Yeah, did... there was a few. Yeah, all the, yeah. yeah, yeah. United and City. I want. I think wasn't allowed to go to City. And then there was a bit of me that wanted to come back to. Mm. But at, also, but surely I... with United from going from wearing that kit, mm. surely you had this urge to want to play for. The, like, was I that did. an opportunity? I to did, do but sort of moved on. Wanting to be back in London. And plus, I'd met, I thought, was the new Wenger, um, which was Ramos. He turned out to be Benga. <laughs> <laughs> but he did. So he's... <laughs> no, no, no. But I, I had a meeting with him and, and, and some of the managers. Yeah. But <laughs> and what? So, so hold on. So you go. So you I, go to I'm Spurs. You made a decision to go to Spurs. So Spurs at the time are where they are now. Mm. So, that are where they are now. But they had the new stadium mm. that was presented to me. New stadium. Ramos is coming in with players. He just <laughs> walked through the door, and it just was wasn't what I was. 
sold Berbatov yeah. had been sold Kane had left mm. you know it was mm. full transition and it was tough that's when we had that tough period and that, that's where he he sort of left and and he was he yeah within within two months of being at Tottenham where I, I really wanted to go and you know mm. be be back in in and around where I was sort of from and yeah. where, like where my family everyone would be happy and um being like a bit of a nightmare really mm. the manager got sacked players had gone Team weren't playing well, mm. and that was, you know, that but was the story. He had some highlights at Spurs. Like, yeah. I mean, obviously, the 4 4 game was a joke. Yeah, but like, wow. Not yeah. scoring from the halfway line, yeah. that, that, that was obviously sticks out in the, in yeah. the memory. Well, it? that was just after that period yeah. when Harry just come in. Mm. And, uh, Did you have an inkling that you were going to score? Cause sometimes you have a little yeah. moment in game where you go, I'm going to score today. Mm. It was a big game, obviously, North London Derby. Did you have a feeling before that? Because it looked like as soon as you got the ball, you was going to shoot. Like, you, you was going to shoot before that you even took your first touch. Yeah. It was. Well, it was in the in the, the meeting before the game. So it was Clive Allen, and um, he was he was saying he's off his line all the time. He's always off his line. Oh, so really? Right. Without so chipping him. So when I picked, it, you're you're right. I was, but where I picked it up, I didn't realise. I just, just went. Boop, right. <laughs> <laughs> it did, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's lovely, wasn't it? But yeah, dying out on that one. I was keep bringing it up. Yeah, yeah. So those, uh, those same yeah. Arsenal fans that were talking so lovely about oh, you. Oh, they'd the give train, me some probably, stick. Probably, yeah. probably, it was. Now the opposite side of things. Yeah, that was, yeah. I mean, even leaving it, I grew up there. I was twelve, telling the story mm. earlier. I love, I loved Arsenal. Mm. Um, you know, the build up to them games as well. It's all weak in it, and all my mates are Tottenham or Arsenal, mm. and you're just living it. And it was mm. great. Yeah, it was another moment that yeah. was just. I was knackered though after me. Like I had to run, didn't I? To yeah. the fans. Yeah, that was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the fastest I've ever. Yeah. Run. <laughs> <laughs> long Fancy way, some pace on that. <laughs> yeah, I think you would after a goal like that. Yeah. We um, had the uh, so obviously I, I signed right, and then yeah. um, I remember you know you you kind of going through it a little bit there, weren't you? Yeah. Like, we're not, like not playing, and mm. you know obviously yeah, there was a few times in training. I remember I remember when you went in, you got you had to train in the afternoons and things like yeah, that. I I mean, that to, yeah, it was all that a difficult kind. time for you, yeah, right? And I, I suppose that's where you probably kind of were this most disillusioned, really. Yeah, because I remember like I don't yeah. know if you know this, but like. It was basically because, I don't know, for whatever reason, you had a big falling out. I mean, I don't think I've ever asked you what actually happened, but there was a falling out and you ended up training, you know, on your own. It was due to the, the, afternoon. the Champions League when we qualified for that. that oh, what, that was when you pulled I, the, I, I really the bucket believe. over Harry? I think it was viewed as a disrespect and I was mm. leading, the, again, perception. I wasn't mm. nothing to do with it. So mm. pay, well, I was, because yeah. I wasn't Well, you yet. pulled it. <laughs> You did pull it over him. Oh, yeah, I forgot in about that. Pants. In my pants, like, hey, we. But it, was, but it wasn't. <laughs> but at the point, it, there was root, you hear it, and it, I think it was viewed as disrespect. And I don't right. think it would come across as well as mm. we, we'd have liked it. Right, it wasn't right. done in that way. Well, how did you see it, Crouch? Mm. Like, talk anyone through who didn't mm. know, don't know what you're talking about. Here. No, I remember that, there, was that. A few, there was a few lads went, right, we've just won the thing. Harry's doing an interview. And it was literally like a split second decision. Yeah. And I don't know. I think I, I think I Homer Simpson did a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> who the lads, who the lads, obviously, I didn't, I didn't see it till after, yeah. but obviously there's a big commotion, whatever, and the lads come in and, you know, I think it was Poussong, yourself, there's a couple of others, Sean Luca might have been involved, anyway, it was, it all kicks off a little bit, but I was still in the dressing room, obviously, you came back in and I seen Harry Drench, <laughs> I was like, oh, oh my mate. God, they've actually done it, but yeah, I mean, it was, we'd just got in the Champions League, yeah, it, was it was an amazing buzzing. feeling, we were all buzzing, yeah, yeah. But he, you think he took it probably? I think so because in the in the training we come back in champagnes out, mm. everyone's buzzing, but like music's on, yeah. chairman's in, he got soaked, and um, it wasn't. But what made it worse is that I think the five players that were sort of mm. seen on the sky Doing it. weren't the ones that were playing, <laughs> <laughs> and obviously me. Mm. Yeah, it looked. It wasn't for that because the build up as a team and as a squad. Yeah, mm. we were. Close. I didn't think of it once. I mean, they they stitched me out a few quid as well for doing it. So, oh really? Um, yeah, I'll bring that up in the book, but I was okay. putting it there. Plug the book, clear, all right? Yeah, the book is coming. <laughs> but but, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> it's crazy because, like, yeah. you're thinking you're, you've been one of the best headers uh, in the Premier League in terms uh, of scoring goals. You've got one mm. of the best crossers as well. Mm. It's, yeah. You'd think it's just a match made in heaven. To I, I, right. loved, I loved playing with him. Yeah. I absolutely loved it. Always but not if, that, even if he comes to, inside yeah. and you can do, yeah. like, little diagonal oh, balls onto you to get onto your chest, yeah, yeah. like pinpoint, you're yeah. thinking it's just a dream. Yeah. But, yeah, it just, just, it just didn't. Harry. Yeah, it just I think it was because you after that had happened, I didn't play for Tottenham again. Yeah. 
that was it. But I played that year 28 times mm. and was one of the, because mm. cause I think if, as I was in front of me, and rightly so, because he was performing well, and I think obviously Bale and the other wing, as I got injured, and I had a clear run from like January all the way through and was... What, I was played, playing a lead role in getting yeah, into the Champions League. in the uh, in the Wigan game where we won nine. Yeah, that's it. it. And, yeah, you, know, you played some, played well, yeah. some good games where you played. But uh, yeah, just never played, play never played again. After that, never played again. Know that. But then like, you hear these rumours. You hear, and yeah. I know a few people. He knows, like, like you know, it, and I'm thinking there was a couple of incidences. Yeah, which is which is fair enough if you do. But it was never. There was some of my own doing, but. I remember that pre season turned up again, front of the queue, fittest, like, mm. you know, ready. Just didn't play, yeah. You never, you've, you've not had a chance to ask him uh, directly? No. Would you want to? No. Yeah, go on in and ask him now. Come <laughs> text, text in here at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got, I, yeah, I'll just give him, Dad. <laughs> 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 oh yeah, he's Benz your is man. Blends is slagging you off here. <laughs> oh yeah, Cratch, he's a golden boy, isn't you? You are. You leave him alone. Yeah, all right, all right. Sorry, Cratch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he's gonna bring it up after uh, dinner, yeah, dinner yeah. tonight. Yeah. I'll bring it up at dinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, I'm good. <laughs> no, you know what? I remember it. Obviously, that day there was a time where. Well, for whatever reason you fell out, and mm. then you know they were kind of making you train in the afternoon. Yeah, like I, don't, was... I don't know if you remember. Do you remember when we were doing one on ones? I think I was. I hadn't played on the weekend, yeah. and you know the, the group that doesn't play. That's all. Right. There's all, yeah. where all the drama happens. Yeah. Yeah. The lads who haven't played Bomb are squad. fuming from the yeah. not playing, and we're all doing one on ones, right? The fitness, and you know the tackles going in. It's all going off and this and that. You're fuming. I'm fuming. So I haven't played. Everyone's fuming, right? So this tackles fine. <laughs> we're doing one on ones, so we're tired. <laughs> Then people are lashing out. And it's got to the stage. I don't know if you remember this. Oh, I can't remember. Do you remember? No, it? no, no. They were making you train in the afternoon sometimes, right? Yeah. And I remember you kept getting the ball off the keeper. And what you do, you get the ball off the keeper, and it's a 1v1 situation. So you've got to get past them, get your shot off, and then you've got to defend. It's quite hard work. Okay. But Benson was getting it off the keeper, and then he was looking to do something, and then he just chopped back and passed it back to the keeper, <laughs> right? And he just kept doing it. Right. Like, so it breaks the session down. So he was ruining the session. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> and no. he was obviously trying to antagonise the coaching yeah, staff, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah that, well, it's yeah. not a lot you can do because he's <laughs> because he's just he's, he's playing football, but yeah. he's not. He's literally passing it back. They're getting it back because you can only pass to one player. It's yeah. as if he can switch the play. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going back out to him. He's going and he's going and he's chopping back, just passing it back. <laughs> <laughs> this is going on for a few passes uh, now and then anyway, they get wind of the fact that he's taking the piss <laughs> so then uh, I remember Kevin Bond went uh, Benz get yourself in and before he could say you're training this afternoon you went see you in the afternoon son <laughs> 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 Cratch <Crunchy. laughs> <Yeah, laughs> that did that? happen yeah I remember uh, it now do you remember it now I remember it was yeah. Spurs Lodge on the first pitch yeah I remember the Christmas party whenever yeah. did you yeah. the, the Irish no, I remember one. Oh mate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a Christmas it's a bit party. hazy now <laughs> the word Irish. So we went to Dublin, didn't we? But yeah. that happened. We had a it wasn't supposed to happen. It wasn't supposed to happen. And yeah, you come out all in the press and then so on. Um we that situation happened because he made me play in a training ground game with the kids. Oh right. Is that that's why you were fuming? No, but I'm the plane had to wait for me. Everyone waiting because um, we had the plane booked for this Dublin trip that he known he knew nothing about. Mm. And he made me you got to do a running session. You got but the flight was taken off at half one from Luton and I had to be Remember that now, yeah. Yeah. And I had to go on the running machine and I remember I turned out everyone's on the runway. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> He ain't got me, I'm still here. <laughs> I'm texting the sun. We're on a we're on a we're on a, we're on a, we're on a trip to Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone, sharp, Eric. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, we went out there, but that mm. situation happened. But like things like that, I don't, mm. don't really, re yeah, mm. remember. But if you're gonna, if I was in that situation, definitely, like, yeah, it's yeah, a yeah. I, remember, one. I, mean, I just think you know, you'd lost your hair, David. It was, it was obvious yeah, the situation had broken yeah. down, and that you know, these, sometimes you react, that's, you know, yeah, mm. but they were interesting things. times. It was great, but Tottenham for me was a weird time because it didn't go very well personally 
for like individual mm. kind of uh, honors or like you know when yeah. people have, yeah. But off the in and around the group, I had a great time. Yeah. I, had a, I, had a, no. I really enjoy my time at Tottenham. You said, yeah. would you? Mm. We had a good group of lads. You know what? Like sometimes, like if if a player kind of isn't playing, you know what it's like. They yeah. can be almost like a cancer around the place. You know, yeah. like it's like you know, and they go, oh, "I don't like the manager and this and that." I don't think you ever said that. Mm. I don't think you yeah. ever. Nah. You know, mm. he said, oh, "Look, they're not having me, and I'm yeah. not having them." But that, you know, yeah. he was you were still good around the place, yeah. and everyone enjoyed main, you yeah. coming in. You know, you were never a bad egg if you know no, what I mean I think all pla- we, have, we, have, we would have all experienced that so yeah, 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 yeah of course the manager's not having yeah. you I think it was because of you know the incident that happened mm. or, or it was one of the reasons yeah. mm. it might not be all that might mm. have just thought he wanted a different type of player and mm. like him up mm. it fine but uh, yeah I think we all experienced that but you never we had a good group of lads and mm, I felt good. that so when you come out of Spurs mm-hmm. was that then the moments where you was like it's just not really like you should sort of chasing it a little bit. It's not yeah. really working out. Yeah, it just didn't, I went to, I went to Birmingham. I was under McLeish at Birmingham, and it was just like I don't know whether I went for the last half of the season or, or what have you. But it was a difficult time. It was difficult. It just didn't enjoy that. Mm. And then I went to Russia, um, and that was that was an experience. Yeah, what was that like, <sighs> mate? It was. Because it was you one of the ones where... It was, where, it was, it was one of the first English players. I was the first to, and only, yeah, first player ever, English I remember, player. I thought, yeah, I'll have a bit of that. You know, like, for multiple reasons. I thought, I'll just get away. I'm playing... I think McGeady was at Moscow and yes. I went to Rostov. That's right, I remember and, he was yeah. one of the first. Yeah. And I thought, yeah. you know what, I'll get away and I'll just... All I'll do is six months football, you know. Nothing else. But I went there, but there was a, so many other issues than that. <laughs> <laughs> I won't bring them up. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just like... I never wanted to ask. So much. <laughs> <laughs> but it was an experience. We're well, reconvening yeah, five, yeah, guys. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> Get him another drink. <laughs> no, but but yeah, like, so there's there a few off-field stuff. Yeah, there was loads of what stuff. What was the place like? That, mad. Mad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. But I was in the South. So, like, again, it was hot. I turned up thinking it was going to be cold. It was loads of things like that. And then uh, the way, uh, the, yeah, things that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so, yeah. So you didn't really want to stay? No. No. So what you're used to, especially playing at the elite level, which is Premier League, mm. you're sort of going out there and you see how mm. um, sort of things sort of work. And yeah, it was certainly different. They love karaoke. Yeah. Do they? Yeah. How was that? How was that? I got to karaoke. Do they? I believe you had Yeah. What? Hello, how are you? In London, you think like Japanese people. Love, yeah, Japanese like, people love it, don't they? Japanese yeah. bars were always karaoke and you'd always get mm. karaoke. But Russian bars. No way. If you go to Russia, everyone loves okay. karaoke, so you get them. Yeah. <laughs> Get involved. <laughs> Something new every day, eh? St. Petersburg <laughs> on a river like that. Uh, Sitting in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is going on? I don't know. <laughs> Where are we going I with this? I don't understand. I don't understand how we've ended up here. <laughs> no. Oh, Sitting I on the dock it. of the bay yeah. in Russia. <laughs> yeah. This is the first time that like, we've experienced this before. This is the first time. He's, he's, like, he's, he's like, like, like a whirlwind. <laughs> <laughs> we've, had, yeah. we've had all these people through this podcast. I don't think I've ever experienced anyone like you. No, really? <laughs> yeah, it's just like... No, I do it every morning when I look in the mirror. Uh, okay, not you again. <laughs> This next part of the podcast is sponsored by BrewDog. So as we've been recording this podcast the last few weeks, we've been getting into the pints of Wingman, which Mm. we've been enjoying a lot, very sessionable. And as previously discussed, it's got us thinking, what makes a great Wingman? It's a good discussion, this, isn't it? The beer's sort of given us an excuse to do that. So you know what we're talking about. One of those mates who loves a night out, but also make sure everyone else has a good time as well. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to think of some now. Um... I've had some good ones over the years. Like, you, you know, you go out with a couple of mates and you think, you're like, they've they helped you out. I like, you know, get the round in. Mm. Don't be selfish in that manner. <laughs> Make sure you get home correctly. But also you need, you need someone who's fun in between. Yeah. Um, 
I, I, we had a good night out. Um, oh, no, I can't. Actually, I don't want to tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Well, no, because I just realised it's going to get me into a... Uh... <laughs> Zoli's going to get me in trouble. I think you should tell it. Okay, one of, one of the best <laughs> one of the best wingmanning stories I've I've heard, but it was a kind of unsuccessful one, was uh, where Scott Mills was out. Mm. You know, good friend of mine. We used mm. to do the radio together. Um, but there's a friend of ours called Unlucky Gary. Uh, who was with him on this particular night out. And uh, it just so happens in the same bar as Beyonce and Jay-Z. And uh, unlucky Gary has thought, I'm never going to be in the same bar as Beyonce, so let's try and open up a conversation with Beyonce. Wow. And what he's done is he's managed to, he spent time trying to catch Beyonce's eye, manages it, <laughs> and then does the universal sign for, do you want a drink? As if, like, she's going to go, Pint, please. <laughs> <laughs> not in the weather spoon. No oh, but you need these people to open up conversations, don't you? Well, uh, I mean, if you're talking assist, I think I've got the biggest assist going. All right. So one of my best friends, uh, this is a true story. Uh, we went to Vegas on his stag do, on his stag do. And uh, the first night we got to a club and we get our table and I said to the sort of fella that was looking after us, I said, you know, can you get some companions up here? Yeah. And he sent a group of girls up and uh, this is on this fella stag do. And uh, they come from Austin, Texas. And uh, he is now married to one of them girls. To one of the companions? To one of the companions. I've never heard the word use of the word companion. Female, a female. Oh, yeah. The word companion, if I'm yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's now married, uh, living wow. in Austin, Texas. Incredible. Yeah. And when people say when we're out, well, how do you two meet to him and his wife? They go, they just point to me. Yeah. Wow. Just just very quickly on this, what a lovely thing you can do. If, if, if two people meet and end up getting married, or, or even just going out, but even more points, they get married, but they met through you, don't you think you have some sort of claim on on sort of I don't know their finances or something? It's like well, I think bare minimum should be the the, the godfather of the first child. Yeah, yeah. I totally agree. My best mate met his missus, and I love them both dearly. But my best mate Dugsy met Zara um, at a rap party for a TV show I was on. Now he wouldn't have been there if it wasn't for me. Ooh. Sure party. Well, I, I deserve something, don't I? Or at least get written into the w will or something like that. Mm. Yeah, but then do you have Because I've wingmanned a whole marriage. Like, They've got 25% kids. Of yeah. divorce. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> not, not there's any question of that. That's your point. That is... All right, so we put this out on social as well to get some of your stories. We've had some good ones, haven't we? Um, yeah, we got this comment on Instagram. Uh, it's from Foxy01. What a name. <laughs> Intriguing. Wow. Got a picture of Foxy01. Uh, <laughs> there is a picture. It's not what you're thinking. Um, I got into an altercation many years back on a night out. Brackets, not my fault, may I add. And I ended up in hospital with a broken nose. I was sat in my cubicle in A&E and at Johnny Hodge 84, got a couple of pizzas delivered into the cubicle from the local two-for-one pizza place. Good wingman. Totally. I love how he's added in the wingman as well. Yeah, yeah. Nice, so yeah. praise can go his way. And I, I would suggest if you are on, this is Instagram, Drop at Johnny Hodge 84 a message just to congratulate him on yeah. his excellent wingmanship. Yeah. All right, then. So um, keep your stories coming in. Uh, there's posts on Instagram, on our socials. Just go look those up and uh, we will read out the best ones. Stories of uh, where you've done good wingmanship. Is that the phrase for it? I think that's fair yeah, to say, isn't it? it? Yeah. Um, but we are enjoying the beer. And also, we say this every week, if you want to come join us for the wingman launch event, at Brewdog Waterloo. Uh, we have put out a post on our podcast social channels. That's Instagram and, and Twitter or X, uh, whatever you, whichever way you're inclined, um, inviting you to tag a mate who is your wingman. So we need you to do this. You need to tag a mate who's your wingman, the person who regularly organizes or saves a big night out and give us an example of them being that sort of hero. The best entries are going to get read out on the podcast and then those people will get invited to join us for a pint. And they're always good fun nights, aren't they? The... Yep. Um, Great nights. Are we doing the brew pong thing? I assume we are. Well, we're undefeated. Someone it's needs raging fun, success. It? Yeah, it's just someone. It's just uh, it seems to work, and um, everyone seems to enjoy it. Yes. Yeah, so get on the social channels, tag a mate, give a reason why they're a good wingman, and we might see you hit. No, I was just going to touch on like obviously retirement. Obviously, like your mm. career, you mm. know, was, was was probably 
too short, if mm. if anything. But um, like what I like about you is like you you retired and just you you just do what you want to do, yeah. like which Keep I love. It's just something a bit different. Yeah, you know, to the regular stuff you know that people yeah. do, and I obviously like that about you. I think I have to do that, and I've stepped in now and again to sort of the conventional things a way I really can't. I tried it a couple of times mm. and I really couldn't do it. And I think that's the same, you know, I could have just done a year at wherever in a year, two years, mm. somewhere and pulled them up. I couldn't really do that. And then when I come out of football, I couldn't really do the conventional media stuff. Mm. Not get, I, I like to, uh, this stuff is, and it's become a lot more, I quite enjoy it. Mm. You know, some of the stuff now is quite, mm. is good. Some of the stuff that, but the conventional sort of mm. straight line stuff I tried to do and it was I get I get ill <laughs> just <laughs> thinking of doing it you know <laughs> you know you have to do the media training yeah. stuff we've just got to cut together yeah. all the noises <laughs> David makes throughout this <laughs> podcast are they are, are they, they yeah it's just, don't you, do that it's amazing <laughs> <laughs> don't yeah, do we can make a song from that but yeah it's incredible so yeah like and the same in my life with, with the way I mm. want to live it children and business yeah. and opportunities you and do a lot with people. business though and yeah. am, am i right in you this is something that you also coach a little bit as well or advise um youngsters yeah you've been involved in that yeah, kind of thing part of the that was part of the agency with 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 my friend and long-term sort of partner um rob Sagal. yeah mm. yeah some of the sort of advice to some of the young players and so on but um mm. there was something that i would have liked to have done and i spent a bit of time on developing sort of a PowerPoint presentation with some of the kids, you know, some of the 16, 17 year olds, so they looked after correctly, mm. they got the right people around us. We've all experienced that. You just get people around you, don't you? They're sort of looking to take from mm. you all the time. And it's quite difficult as a young boy to sort of recognize that. Yeah. And even the closest people around you and get the right sort of people around you that are gonna do the right things. So I spent the time with that. Um, as far as on the coaching front, no, not the minute. It's something that I probably look. I wouldn't mind getting into because my boy started playing. I sort of get the bug for it a little bit now. Yeah. Um, but what? But but football, if you, what coach would you be then? If you were given, oh, look at yeah. you, you know the chasing round of Capello, the postman Pat stuff, all of that. Oh, the, yeah. um, mm. we haven't really touched on that. Mm. And the um, and and you know some of the shit housery that you've done on various managers. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm sort of intrigued. <laughs> There's another noise. <laughs> what, what what manager would you be? Do you think? No, I don't, I don't mean. Yeah, what, if I was going to be, I would yeah, be a full time manager. Yeah, hypothetically. Hypothetically. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, what manager would I try to be? Uh, there be this would be a one off. <laughs> no, the UK, there's no one. There's no one you could base yourself no. on. No, no, I'm not sure on that. One. No. Yeah, who would I be like? Mm. Just, just be yourself. He's gone into Marseille and he could take, he's a boy, isn't he? Yeah. Could do so. Yeah. yeah. Imagine I got in and started just running them. <laughs> <laughs> get in. No ketchup. <laughs> I, I stayed in character. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Two years <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, for, for, those, for those people that don't know what you got into, obviously you've got the bars now in Marbella. Yeah, we've got you've the, got a flooring company. I've got a commercial flooring company. Yeah. yeah. You should do Dragon's Den, but be one of the dragons. Oh. That would be great. Yeah. Too tight. I wouldn't invest. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, no. That, yeah, yeah, how are yeah. they going? How are they all going? Yeah, oh, so going bar, the bar you've been going 16 years, right? 16 years, so, yeah. It's going really well. I mean, obviously, COVID, we've, we've been in business the last few years, learned a lot, really. Mm. Obviously, through the COVID pandemic, the business got hit hard. You know, if you're holding a lot of businesses, it was a difficult time, um, sort of operationally, financially, and so on. But no, day to day sort of level, yeah, they're doing really well. They're successful. Yeah. They're built with the right stuff. Got the right, right foundation, right people in and around it. And I enjoy the day-to-day -day element of it. Yeah. Me OCD, yeah, yeah. Spreadsheet King, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Spreadsheet, spreadsheet Warrior. Oh, yeah, <laughs> love, love a Spreadsheet Warrior. Yeah. I like keeping guessing because they don't know how to get it. Like, got you there, I understand that. Okay, right, a few messages here. I heard this one, which was quite interesting, from Peter Middleton. He says, right, lads, uh, I hear about the, the VAR debate you had. Let us know what you, uh, what you all think on doing football like tennis. Um, VAR still exists, however, with a twist. Each team, every game, are allowed one challenge, and VAR won't in, un interfere until the captain challenges it. Once the decision is made by VAR, you only get to keep your challenge if you're correct. However, if the decision isn't correct, it gets taken away from you and you have no more challenges available. Great. Uh, Genius. What? It's not bad. Yeah. It's great. 
It's great. It, like, puts, the, it puts the onus on the team there, doesn't it? Yeah. It really does. Yeah. It's same in tennis. Yeah, so you have tennis. like three yeah. challenges. Yeah, you can challenge, yeah. Two or three challenges. Yeah. yeah. Same, same with uh, cricket as well, isn't it? Isn't it limited, I think, for the amount of... for the. Um, it's strange yeah. they're getting it wrong, though, at mm. the minute. Yeah, but rather than ev all these situations, because my argument with it would be, if you're going to do it around the goal, then surely you need to examine every decision that leads up to a goal. It's not just strikers being the most important. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. if, a, if something happens further down the pitch and these phases of play, whereas if the captain challenges it, then it stops it being uh, over the yes. top. Like, I, So who gets the call? Would it be the captain look at the manager to say... You need to challenge this, or does the captain have to make so, the call? So, well, it says captain. I suppose. I suppose it'd have to. It could come from the manager to the captain. That's what I'm like, saying. To like, challenge that, yeah. Or you know, the captain could take it upon himself to, to do oh, it. Oh, no. But then, but then you'd have you wouldn't have you'd have someone on the bench, wouldn't you, Ooh. watching a screen? Yeah, constantly. Oh, so they'd have to see it first and then you challenge it. You, but you know what? I th I think the, the the referees could potentially get their own back now because you know if if they don't challenge something right, and then after the game. The refs go, we you yeah. should have <laughs> We got yeah. our award. <laughs> you fucked up there, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's true. Like yeah. the refs could be going, you know, not as harder than it looks, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Rather than us assuming referees have to get it right because it's just not humanly possible that refs will do it because they're human. You're right. Yeah. It readdresses the balance. Right, it just it? kind of puts the onus back on the clubs to challenge it, you know. But then yeah. obviously they need to get it right. Yeah, they need which to get is it the right. difficult bit at the minute. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I, I like it, and I'm trying to be serious, Move but I'm forward. just looking at this picture yeah. next to uh, I, next to uh, this I tweet. Uh, it's <laughs> it's from Pete Sibley. Pete Sibley, yeah. And um, oh, this yeah. is a, a picture, picture really. This is a picture of Fanny Mills. The thing is with this, this is an escalation because. We've obviously done these like hypothetical teams, Ooh. so penis eleven, vagina eleven, crouch vest eleven, that yeah. sort of thing. Penis eleven. Yeah, Fanny yeah, Mills will. Me about it. Oh, Julian Dix. Uh, yeah. You know, oh, you can't, right. yeah, like yeah. Uh, Shane, Shane Long, Long Sean uh, Longstar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot. Yeah. It goes yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like basically like eleven. Or so vagina. Fabio Julie. Cabello would be. You know, yeah, yeah. you can sneak them in anywhere. Uh, really. Really. Flap, flap stand. Peter, yeah. <laughs> Peter Crotch. David Bentley. Um, you know, it just yeah, it's just I'm something. Now, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, don't let him. Don't let him yeah, start I'll thinking of one. Day, yeah. uh, oh, so no, it does. It gets you, but the escalation here is now they're drawing them. Yeah. yeah and no, so what, what it is, is is Danny yeah, Mills with a vagina for a mouth. Yeah, it's, I mean, you know, it, it's slightly derogatory. <laughs> um, is this where we're at now? Oh, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, let's, uh, I was worried about talking about Russia, but here we go. Let's talk about vagina. <laughs> this is where we're out on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, don't worry about that. All right, all right. Well, let's move right. it. Swift, you know? swift, swift, swift. Come on. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, it's the answer. Yes, I think yeah, it's very well put together, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 it's a, he's a good drawer. Yeah, we talked, about Mac, we talked about McDonald's earlier. Isn't it? <laughs> it's a very detailed drawer. Very, yeah. very detailed. Uh, it's actually the most detail he's put into is, is <laughs> in fact the the mouth. Yeah. Area. Okay, so we've got a message from Leon. Uh, Hi, chaps. I'm in charge of attractions at Skegness Pier. Uh, have you been to Skegness Pier, anyone? No. No? no I haven't. Mm. Okay. Uh, I'm in charge of attractions at Skegness Pier. I know you guys were looking at starting small. We have the perfect bridge here at the pier. Oh, man. To me, it resembles him perfectly. It's small, extremely well built, and quick to walk over. It also has a lovely little addition of boats that head through head through it on a daily basis from the local aquarium. I've attached a few pictures and I can organise a sign to put... Oh, and I can always a sign to put on there. We also have a, a player bar. You know all about oh, that. Uh, yeah. Bents. Uh, on the pier that overlooks the bridge and we have a resident Ibiza DJ that plays for us weekly so we can accommodate a large celebration for the opening of Wayne's... Bridge. Okay, right. so, so this we is about Wayne Bridge. bridge. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we said, Cad, could we get him potentially a bridge? Uh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> so so Bridgie could start having one in I'd be for DJ playing there. Uh, wow. That sounds like his type of bridge that as well. Sounds, yeah. yeah. So, I'm like, I mean, this is great. I mean, I mean, would we need to open this? Well, I think we'd sort of moved on from the topic of a bridge for Wayne Bridge because uh, it's got held up in other, you know, admin that we've been doing. But, 
why don't we just settle on this and then just commit and make this happen? Well, no, and if he can make this happen, it's yeah. Skegness, oh, right? Wayne will have been... got held up in Adler. It's <laughs> 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 Wayne's bridge. It's Skegness. It's got it. held up in Adler. Why don't we just green light leave? Too busy discussing Fanny Mills. Should we just green light right. this then? Yeah, I'm yeah. good for that. Yeah, so green, 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 light, bridge. green light Wayne's Bridge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wayne's Bridge. I wonder if they're going to give me a Bentley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we start? David's Bentley. Don't let that get uh, caught up in Edwin. <laughs> 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 Come on, start it. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, we'll look you. into that. Yeah. We'll look okay, into that. We'll make you. that a priority. <laughs> Uh, okay, so yeah, Le- uh, Leon, go ahead with that and then just let us know what's going on. Let us know what you need from us. Um, but we'll leave you to it. Get the signs up, get all that. You you just deal with all of it if possible. We'll outsource to you. Um, should we do this message from Dom? Mm. Mm. Uh, do you want to read this one, David? Why not, eh? I'm currently studying in Vietnam, so I'm doing my best to pass the pod wherever I can. The most recent effort is spreading the global appreciation for puddings on the... <laughs> Yeah, on the balcony of the Note Cafe in Hano- Hanoi. Hello. Yeah. Hanoi. I think that for the notorious SID. SID. Yeah. Amazing. SID well, that's great. Right. So this person's passing the the pods um, has put something up on like a tourist yeah, wall, it's like a little sticker. It's, it's global. It's global. global. It's global. <laughs> I think we need to encourage everyone who's on like a gap yar or whatever it is, or travelling around the world. To to you know, because there's all yeah. these tourist walls and bridges and things like that that you can legitimately write on. And, and yeah. well, we've seen loads, haven't we? We've yeah. seen yeah. legitimately yeah. write on. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you know what I mean? Yeah, there's the one with the lock as well. Oh, the lock on, yeah, you know, Paris. is it Paris? Is it Paris? That, um, Paris? No, there is love. one. There's oh, a love bridge. There. You've definitely done that. <laughs> the love bridge. I haven't actually. <laughs> I uh, uh, might be up my sleeve this yeah, weekend. Yeah, well. <laughs> she hasn't broken her back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe that's the one we should give to Wayne. That'd be a nice touch, wouldn't it? Yeah, Wayne's bridge. Wayne's bridge was the lock one. Yeah, the yeah lock that'd be one. nice. That, but mm. I've got a feeling that's there's a bit of history there. <laughs> sure, we could just put Wayne on it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, where, you know when know you're on the yeah. motorway and you pass certain bridges and they've got... Have you seen the one that says, um, give peas a chance give or, or helch? Chance. Have you seen that oh, one yeah, seen on helch, the, yeah. helch on the bridge? Yeah, yeah. That maybe is what we need, just like one of them just with Wayne like written yeah. along. Yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's we can't encourage up. it, but, no, but you no, know, no, like no, it's... Go and do it, yeah. 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 Are you... Uh, I mm. probably... Oh, well, I wouldn't say I was going to do it. I'm quite... I always wonder how they do it anyway. Banksy's listening, you know, he's more than welcome to... Yeah. Uh, pass the pod pass the pod in a spectacular fashion yeah right so you need a yeah. bridge well, there isn't one at the minute no 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 we, 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 so we were saying out there, you know like guys come back how do you don't even name a bridge you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. oh yeah do you not get this with this podcast so what, what we do is you tend to say something and then people just make shit happen it's oh, bizarre right, like okay. we have a chat about something next thing you know these these um, like people listening go and just action it right. it's yeah, it's good. It's kind yeah, of odd good. how it works. So the, so the Bentley might be. Yeah, yeah. It, it, Don't rule it out. It comes yeah, they might be listening. You know what I mean? They might be. Yeah, yeah. Right, Bents, listen. It's an absolute pleasure having you on. It really is. And I, I'm just glad you're back in the country, so you're able to do it. Um, I'm sure you'll be off it, again, yeah. off on your travels again sometime. But no way. Hey, any listeners to the podcast? They get a little. Um, what if they come to one of your places? Can they get a oh, no, like a free? What no, was no, your no, that, yeah. limoncello no, sort of thing? Of course, I can. Yeah. Oh. What's your one? Yes. Uh, uh, Pasharan. Pass the Pasharan. Yeah, pass, pass the Pasharan. The Pasharan. Yeah. They go, go into the bar and they say, pass the Pasharan, code Bentley. Oh, my God. So they see you at one of your bars. Yeah. Pass yeah. the Pasharan. And Pasha they say, pass the Pasharan. They get a free one. one, right? All day long. All day long. <laughs> you're going to wish jump. you haven't said that. <laughs> you're going to wish you haven't. Your weekend. <laughs> Oh, please let me go. Uh, no. he, does, he doesn't understand. He doesn't understand. <laughs> you're going to regret this. You're regret You'll be this. shutting oh, down one right. of your bars now. <laughs> you know what, right? When you're standing there, though, right, and someone, over, when somebody goes to you, Vince, uh, uh, pass the page around, right? It's going to make you laugh. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's going to make me laugh. <laughs> It's there, everyone. That means I can. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. All right. But no, absolute pleasure having you yeah, on, mate. It's and, been um, brilliant. It's been, it's been a great pod. 